So F325, we're on rates again. And this time we're going to be looking at how do we draw a tangent on a graph. Um, so in front of me here, I've got a concentration time graph again. And it's the same set of data as before, but just a new graph. So it's a concentration time graph. And you will be asked at, asked at some point to, to calculate the rate of reaction. And to be able to calculate the rate of reaction, you need to be able to calculate the gradient. And to calculate the gradient, we need to use a tangent. Okay, I have to excuse me, I drew it wrong and I've got rubbing out say, there and everywhere, but that's the, the joy of uh, graph drawing. And I double checked it to make sure I got it right afterwards. So, in an exam, they'll ask you to calculate the rate of reaction at the initial rate of reaction. They could ask you to calculate the, ta uh, the rate at 20 seconds and the rate at 40 seconds. So I'm just going to show you in this video what you need to do to draw these tangents. Okay, and I'm not going to show anything else because I'll do that in the next video how you actually calculate rate. So initial rate is the one that people always get wrong. Okay. Initial rate is at zero seconds. Initial rate is at the very beginning of the reaction at zero seconds. So you need to be on this y-axis. You need to be on the y-axis and you need to be following your curve of best fit. And make sure you cross both axes. Make sure your line crosses, your tangent, sorry, crosses both lines. So that is my tangent for the initial rate. Obviously people's are going to sl uh, vary slightly and examiners do take that into account. There's always a data range for the difference, okay? So now we've done the initial rate tangent, it's crossed both our axes. I'm now going to show you how to draw a tangent at time 20 seconds. You go to your x-axis, you go to 20, that's that data point there. I now want to draw a tangent at 20 seconds. All you do is you go to your curve of best fit again and just try and find the best possible fit onto that graph. So again, crossing both axes. We're doing this as a dash so you can see the difference, okay? So we've got straight line, we've got dash line. That's now my tangent for time 20 seconds. You see how the gradient is going to be varying slightly, okay? And the last one we've got here, the question, is time at 40 seconds. So 40 seconds, we go up, we look at that circle, and again, we find the best fit to our curve, which is probably about there. And this time I'll draw a little dot so we can see the difference. In an exam, just draw one straight line. Just doing this for the purpose of you. So in fact, no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to fill it in. So I'm going to do it how you should do it. Yep, we should have three lines. And they should vary in gradient. The reason being that the rate's always the fastest at the beginning of the reaction and it slows down. So we've got one here, we've got one here at 20 seconds and one here at 40 seconds, making sure that the line crosses both of the axes. Remembering initial rate is always zero seconds. Initial rate is always zero and in the other times you come up from your x-axis, okay? Go to the next video now and see how you calculate rate of reaction.